Hi everyone, yes, that's Que Carlos Tirzate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making delicious almond flavored gluten free holiday cookies. They're so pretty to look at. They're going to be white with a nice red cherry on top. They're delicious and so easy to make. Let's get started. So this recipe makes 14 to 16 cookies. You could definitely easily double or even triple this to fill cookie boxes with. They're the perfect gift to give during the holidays. I have two egg whites in my mixer. I'm going to add the whisk attachment to it so I can whip these up until they're nice and frothy. Next, I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt and three quarters of a cup or 170 grams of granulated sugar. And I'm gonna let the mixer go on high speed until a meringue is formed. It's gonna be nice and fluffy and white. So next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of pure almond extract and a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and two and a half cups or 250 grams of almond flour. And just like that, the dough is ready. I still like to go in with a spatula and mix it up so that way whatever's stuck at the bottom, and there's usually egg whites or sugar or a combination of both stuck to the bottom, it'll get evenly mixed in. And this is a very sticky dough, so I have a little bit of confectioner sugar over here. I'm just gonna roll these out into about 35 to 40 gram around balls, about a tablespoon of dough each one and then once I roll them into balls I'm just gonna dip them into the sugar so that way they're coated and keep going until you run out of the dough once you're done forming all of the balls of cookie dough then place them on a tray that's lined with parchment paper and then press the center down with your index finger to create a little hole so that way the maraschino cherries can you know, be nestled right in there. I have some pitted maraschino cherries that I just put on top of a paper towel so that way it can absorb any of the excess liquid that they release so that way they don't stain the cookies too much. Go ahead and put the maraschino cherry right there in the center of each cookie. And if you want to, and if you have some sliced or slivered almonds, you can nestle them around the cherry. You can even press them in. The dough is so e easy to work with. You you just press them in and it holds them in place. The oven should be preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let them bake for about 15 or 20 minutes or until they're still very lightly golden all around. Let them cool completely and then they'll be ready to serve. So my cookies were ready in 18 minutes. The, if you cook them for 15 minutes, they're gonna be more pale, but they're gonna be more chewy too. So if you like them a little more chewy, then take them out at the 15 minute mark and when they cool, they're gonna harden a little bit. If you like them a little bit on the drier side, you can take it all the way up to 20 minutes. It's up to you. This is actually the same exact recipe that I used to make my Greek almond meringue cookies, my amygdalota, that's how you say it in Greek, except this time I just uh, thickened up the batter a little bit because that batter has less of the almond flour in it and we have the cherries and almonds on top, so good. If you want to, you can once they cool, you can drizzle some dark chocolate on them, or you can melt dark chocolate in a shallow bowl and dip the bottoms of the cookies in there. The combination of cherry, chocolate, and almond is to die for, it's so good. However you decide to serve them, call some friends over, make some Greek coffee, and share these delicious cookies, or put them in a cookie box and give them out as gifts. It is time for the taste test. I can tell these are still gonna be chewy in the center. Mmm, I love them. Give me some cookies and a hot cup of coffee anytime or any day, and I'll be, I'll be so happy. These are so delicious, perfectly sweet, crisp on the outside, so chewy on the inside, that maraschino cherry with the almond together, mm, to die for. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, dimitrosdishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.